Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to our channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. Please like and subscribe at the end of the video or whenever you would like to press that subscribe button if you like our video and if you would like to learn a little bit more about the balloon business, the event decorating business and just a little behind of how it goes and what else you can do to improve what else you can do to bring more success to your event decorating business in this video i'm gonna be showing you one of our best sellers in our business right now literally we sell these balloon fan towers three four even five six a week it's super easy to make and it's really really they're really really nice they can literally make a big statement to our um decor to your event really really easy the first thing you're gonna need is one of those five foot tall lamp stands from ikea um the first row of balloons are gonna be four 19 inch on the bottom so they can be like covering the stand after that the second row is gonna be 3 12 inches different sizes and a 19 so each row that we are gonna be adding they're gonna be four balloons but um like i said the first one it was 3 19s for the bottom the base and then 3 12s with with 1 19 the one after that is gonna be the four 12s and that is going to be the base for the bottom the top one let's start from the top four six inches balloons all around the second row going from the top to the bottom is going to be three twelves and one nineteen and then the other one is going to be three twelves and now we are going to be covering the pole with those table skirts that you can find in amazon you can just type table skirt and you can find any color that you would like to match your balloon stand i'm just from one table skirt i can make or i can use four to five pieces to make four to five balloon towers my husband is blowing the 32 numbers that i ordered from amazon and this is the second time this happened to us second or third third time it happened to us we ordered 32 inches balloons numbers and as you can see the no one number was bigger than the other one so we were freaking out because it was late and we needed to deliver this balloon tower the next day at eight o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna go get my shoes and go run to the store to see if i can find the same size even if, if it's bigger if it's smaller but to be the same size my husband is here making the pops that we are gonna be adding because just like that it looks boring and basic and we don't like boring and basic so he made me some pops to add from one balloon he um, made three little baby ones and I'm just adding it wherever I think they look good I am adding these baby balloons with rubber bands just going through the big balloons on the stand and now I'm gonna be blowing the 30 inch that I'm gonna have on the top the topper and to attach this 30 inch to the base I'm gonna be using a 260 balloon going around and around the neck of the 30 inch and just passing it through all the balloons all the way to the bottom and make making sure I go around the pole of the stand okay I came back from the store and got two number balloons uh, I couldn't find the same size that I wanted I wanted a 30 or 32 inches they only had 34 they are 
bigger than what I used to use for these balloon stands, but we're gonna have to make it work with this because I am not adding two different sizes balloons numbers. My husband loved to use our pump, our electric pump to blow up the number balloons, but I am not comfortable doing it, so I blow it up as much as I can and then finish it with the manual pump because I'm scared I'm gonna pop them. That had happened to me before and I didn't like it. So here I'm, in, I'm showing you that I'm gonna use glue dashes and glue strips to glue and attach the numbers to the latex balloons. We usually don't use these dashes when we use any other, other different color like gold balloons, red balloons, any other color we don't use the dashes because they don't work good with those foils. The dashes only work good with silver balloons. I don't know what it is, it's the color or something, but they don't work good with any other color than if it's not silver. So I'm just adding a piece of the back of the number and making sure I'm gonna be placing it in the right position where I want it with the latex balloon. And now I'm gonna be adding a Starburst balloon. Those stars, I love those stars, how much add to any decor my clients love and they actually request those starboards for some uh, decor. Of course, there's some that don't like those. They say that they're like too flashy, <laughs> so they don't like me to use those, but most of the Mark Alliance love those flashy starboards. And here I'm just adding little pops here and there for the numbers because I thought they look super simple because there's like they're too big. They're supposed to be in the middle of the pole and kind of look like they are part of the stand and here they're like popped out because how big they are. And we transport this in our SUV when it's just one. We usually use uh, move the topper to the side because it doesn't um, fit all the way straight. So here my husband is trying to fix it to the top because like I said we move it to the side so I was able to fit the whole thing in there. When we have two, three or four of these delivered we use our little trailer but here I am delivering the balloon fan tower. Again thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and go visit our Instagram and Facebook page at the event decor MB and see you in the next one. Bye!